Thank you so much for joining us for today. This is your life coach, Marcus Select, sharing with you a word you can live on morning bread. Brought to you in part by Select USA TV I Networks from Atlanta. And this is where you can call, text, or chat. Let someone know that Morning Bread is live and on demand on your Select USA TV network. Whatever you do, remember this Select USA I Networks is committed to your wholesome and positive media content. All right, let's get right into the word. Coming to you straight from the Select USA TV studios in Atlanta. This is Morning Bread. Sharing a word that you can live. Hi, my name is Marcus Salad, and I am glad that you have joined me here for Morning Bread, brought to you in part by the Select USA TV I Network, live and on demand, airing from the Select USA TV studios in Atlanta. And I want to encourage you to invite a friend for the session of which you are about to view. The first of many, of course, but the series is entitled, When Sex is Not Enough. In order to grab, if we can, uh, or wrap our arms or hands around some of the cultural devastations that is taking many minorities down a slippery slope. I don't want to bore you too much with statistics. I don't want to overwhelm you with terms, but I do want to encourage you to at least listen and pass this information on. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask now that your Holy Spirit would guide this session. We ask that your Holy Spirit would break through the blockages that we have put up, the walls, the hurts, and the pains, and cause us to hear and understand in Jesus' My name. My goal for you for this session is this, that in some way, shape, or form, in your own language, as one bishop put it one time, you would be able to digest the few points that I will share with you so that you can hear. If we don't begin to share information with our preteens, teens, as well as young adults, and let them know, number one, they are not alone. Number two, what you're going through is not a phenomenon. And number three, we love you no matter what happens. We're gonna have a slippery slope for a long time to come. And generations will be affected because we wanted to approach situation as I said early on from the way we wanted to hear it so this is a conversation with the coach about sex and when sex is not enough and I want to start off with my theme scripture which I will be using along with some others later on but my central theme scripture will be coming from Proverbs chapter 21 verse 17 21 verse 17 reading from the Amplified Bible he who loves pleasure will be a poor man and he who loves wine and oil will not be rich that if we sink our whole entire life into pleasurable pursuits we're gonna come up short if you sink your entire life into the way you groove in the way you knock the boots, as the young kids used to say many years ago. If you sink your entire center of being upon a booty call time and time and time again, you are going to come up short. Now, if I had a topic for today's thought pattern to begin this series when sex is not enough it would be this we do not live in an ideal world we do not live 
in an ideal world. The Bible says in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, keeping my sessions as simple as I possibly can, for all have sinned and come short. All of us, no matter our structure or our culture, have fallen short of the reflection, the word glory, connotates or hint or hints in the Greek that it, it reflects. We all have re come short of the reflection to look like our creator, God himself. Romans 6.23 says, for the wages or the payment of my decisions, my mistakes, pursuing pleasure centrally in that moment over common sense, over responsibility, over accountability, over my family, whatever the case may be, for the wages or the paycheck of my decisions, my wrongdoing is death. That word death there is just not a culmination of the physical death, but it is the, the initiation of a spiritual separation from destiny purpose and that which I was designed to do. I was designed to win. We were not designed for defeat. Why? Because if you look at everybody's situation throughout life, throughout culture, throughout the races, throughout the history of mankind, you find that men want to go from here to here. They want to go from there to there. Why? Because there's an innate ability, as I've said in the past, inside of us that makes us want to go to the top. So, hence, if there's an innate ability in all cultures, races, and throughout the history of mankind to go to the top, this desire, this drive, this leadership quality, this successful um, ad, uh, admiring quality comes from someone bigger than us. Our mistakes, the payment is separation from the ideal situation that God had in mind for you and Even I. throughout my culture and my structure, that doesn't necessarily mean I have a handle on the ideal situation that God has in mind for me. Because we as humans try to convey what God wants for folks, but too often more than not, we have not been exposed to enough of God having his way for us to even connotate what that would mean for us. Having fell short of that original design, original, original mirrored image, the payment for our sin or mistakes is that now we have become separate through confusion, chaos, drama for your mama, baby daddy and all that, we have become separated from the original intent of our creation because we were created to win, we were created to be wealthy, we were created to be healthy, but because we have engaged in the pursuit in many cases of pleasure, have found ourselves lacking or coming up short. We need to tell our kids, daddy came up short too. Mama came up short too. Not in an arrogant way that we're proud of it, but Romans 3.23, we all have sinned and come short. And the payment is separation from the intention of God through what is called death in the scriptures. And don't you feel like you're dying? You don't have money from Peter to pay Paul. Don't you feel like you're dying? You can't have a conversation with your mate for fear of retaliation, high defense mechanisms, walls are thicker than Fort Knox. You can't instruct your kids you can't go to church and serve in a particular ministry without being offended, hurt, broke down, and having to put up a fake face in order to survive the moment. Don't you feel the death in the air? Don't you feel the death in the culture? Don't you feel the death in the home? While we may celebrate the coming out of homosexuals, 
while we, while we may aggregate the fact that we have multiple partners, sex is not enough. We are actually suffering in the death and calling it life and celebrating it as though we've accomplished something big. But I want you to know, we are not living in an ideal situation. 70% of the homes that are in America now are single parent homes. This is not ideal. The divorce rate is over 47.8% in the Christian community. This is not ideal. Unwed mothers who are under 21 are more likely, two to five times more likely, to experience poverty than any normal young adult mother that decides to have a child, particularly in wedlock. The probability of poverty is induced faster and quicker under 21 single mother, single father without a mate, without finishing college or high school. Don't you smell the death? Don't you smell the death even though after you've gone, you've gone through the act of sexual contact, you hear something ringing in your mind and in your spirit perhaps that says, now what? The girls through their dynamic destiny Makeup says, will he love me? That's God right there speaking through you, and you don't even know it. The guys are saying, what is my next pursuit? That's God right there in them, and they don't even know it. Because guys are built to achieve, and girls are built to relate. Women are built to relate, and men check, are built check, to achieve. Check online. Check the web. Check the stats. Check the scientists. Check the psychologists. Check the sociologists. Men are from Mars and women are from Venus, or, or, or men are from Venus and women are from Mars. There's a different decorum for the creative purpose of each species. And so when you don't know the purpose of a thing, we tend to abuse that purpose, that thing of which would serve as a great purpose in our lives had we had definition of what to do with it. And while we have, from my perspective, come from a more conservative culture, we have stepped on those who are caught up in a liberal movement. And we ourselves, conservatives, I'm not talking about politically, conservative in morals, conservative in, in, in how we grew up, perhaps, still are pointing the finger and liberals are still saying, aha, I'm having a great time and death is on both sides, the left and the right, north and the south, east and the west. Death is in the air. This is not an ideal situation. You were not meant to be $10,000 in the hole, which is the cost of having a baby the first year, out of wedlock, without a husband, without that man standing by your side. Hence why, uh, in some cases, most cases, 80% perhaps, the thought, you may not acknowledge it, you may not say it to your sister friends, why didn't he call me? Or he just thought he was. So you dumped him and went on to the next thing because you survived the moment, but you never process it, as I always say, and you never really got to the crux of the matter. You so you may look at a rapper and say, well, he didn't come up short, check his life. You only saw what was televised. The revolution, as it's once said, will not be televised. You say, well, that person didn't come up short. He's got it going on. Girls are all around him in the video. No, you only saw the news clipping. You only heard the words that were the talking points. You are not behind the scenes, in the booth, in the back, in the dark. You don't know the tears, you don't know the pain that some of these rappers have experienced. You don't know the childhood traumas. You're only snap, again, snapping something out of the air that fits where you want to go. And you're forming it and molding it into a tool that will advance your selfish, self-centered desire. I'm guilty just as well. We do it very well. That is the human way. Get out of your own way. 
is not necessarily recommended that you continue to experience life as we know it to learn the lessons that I am sharing with you today. Until next time, this is Pastor Marcus Salette, pastor of the Gathering Fellowship, president of Salette USA TV I Networks, and your life coach. Join me on Fridays for the Coach Approach to Life show every Friday at 9 p.m. Join me for your life coach direct on Wednesdays from 7 p.m. until 8.45 p.m. And if you have any further questions, don't forget, email us at partnerships at marcusselectministries.org or TV at y7mail. The studio number is also available for those of you that need prayer and consultation, 678-374-3344. Got to go now. Until next time, find your destiny and live.